Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today I'm going to show you how to turn up your photo editing to 11. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to take control over the detail, texture and color of your photo in a way that you've never done before and we're going to be doing that using LAB or lab mode and a couple of little tricks that I've kind of figured out. So here we go, we've got a photograph right now and I'm gonna choose image mode and I'm gonna change this to lab color or in a LAB color. So I'm just gonna hit control J to copy it and that just enabled me to do a before and after. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into curves. So we're just gonna create a curves adjustment layer just like you normally would. There's gonna be a difference here though. If we look at this, notice instead of RGB, we've now got lightness A and B. Let's show you, first of all, how to boost the color. What we're going to do is we're going to start in the A channel, and we're just going to boost this up a little bit. Take it to about there. And we're going to take this to the same on that side. Then we're going to go to the B channel. Let's take it up to about the same amount. So what we're doing is we're just bringing out a lot of detail of color here inside these rocks and these trees. Now this is not the same as turning up the saturation and I'll show you that later on. I'll give you a comparison so you can see. All right, so we've done that. Now I'm just gonna apply it like that. All right, so if we look at this before and after, we can see we've really given it a boost of color. Now let's go and play around with the texture in the rock and in the trees. So I'm gonna create a second curves adjustment. And with the second curves adjustment, what we're going to do is we're going to target this rock in the lightness channel. So by doing this, it's going to just give us crazy amount of detail without affecting the color at all. So we're just going to kind of play around and let's just get some crazy gnarly detail. Look at that. And then what I want to do is I just want to select that independently. So we're going to go under the color here and we're going to choose to select color range. And now at the color range, I'm just going to click in there inside the rock, hit that little plus one and just kind of drag it through there. And that's going to select those reds and just kind of play around with the fuzziness a little bit to kind of make sure we've selected most of the rock and nothing else. And we're going to click OK. And then what we've done there is we've just punched all that in the rock. All right, so let's move on. And now we're going to do something for these trees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and we're going to create the curves again. And this time we want to bring out the detail in those trees. So let's just brighten it up about there. It's looking pretty good. And let's just kind of play around. And once again, we're able to play around with this lightness and bring out the detail without affecting the color. All right. So now we've done that. We just want to isolate it to just the trees. So what we're going to do is we are going to go under the select and we're going to choose the color range again. Let me just tap there to select the green, hit the plus, and then just click and drag a little bit to select the green. See that? Now we've got the green area. And just click OK. And now what we've done is we've separated that. See just the green areas. And we've separated just the rocks. And then of course we've got the color. So if we didn't want to affect the color, this is where we would be just working with the luminosity right there. But of course, we do want to affect them all. So you can see that we've been able to bring out a ton of detail before and after. Now we've got a lot more color and a lot more detail. I'm going to show you how to kind of tame that in a second. And what I'm going to do first of all, though, is I'm just going to go here. Because remember I said turning up the saturation is not the same thing. So here we are. We're just going to prove that. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit Hue Saturation. And I'm going to turn up the saturation. And so let's just crank up that saturation. All right, so let's look at that. See what's happened. We do the saturation. See what it just kind of flattens everything out versus doing it with the AB channels. Let's have a look here. Here's the AB channel right there. See the difference versus that. See how it just flattens it out. All right, so the thing I was going to show you now is how to kind of tame this. So what we can do is just go in and adjust our opacity. So if that color is a little much, you want it a little more natural, just bring it back. The great thing about working with this method is it's going to give you more texture and more color than you're ever going to need. So now we can just come back into reality. So we want to kind of give our rocks maybe that much texture. And we'd go in here 
and once again we can take this all the way down and just give it a little bit more detail a little bit more texture into those trees so now we've got a much more realistic result so if we look at it before and after and at any time we can convert this back to image mode we can just go back here to RGB color and let it flatten so make sure you do all your adjustments your luminosity masking and everything in there and then at this point here you could just bring it into the camera raw filter now and you could just kind of finish it off because now you've got a ton of detail so maybe we want to bring a little recovery to some of our highlights we might want to give it a little contrast play around with the exposure a little bit see that we can hit our blacks our whites and we can kind of just finish off our image here all right guys there we have it now you can see the before and the after and if you want to see how truly remarkable this is let me zoom in because i don't think you're realizing all the detail look at this detail this is what the image looked like before and after so i think you can kind of really see that in fact let me do a little split on this and let's bring this up to a hundred percent and i think you guys can see Look at the texture there in the rocks versus there. So this is a really powerful technique. So if you like these kind of tutorials, make sure you subscribe right now, become part of the cafe crew because I release a new tutorial at least once a week. If you like this video, smash that like button, enter dust, add a comment. Let's get a discussion going. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.